Uh, next up, we've got uh, Collecting Smiles. They've announced Colours Live on Kickstarter, <clears throat> and it's a sequel to the Colours and Col- and and what, what was the se- yeah the colors colors, okay. colors and colors 3D I've missed out there 3D oh I see okay I was thinking they had two games called exactly the same thing before this one well that's a mistake um, so it's a robust drawing suite for Switch and it's got pressure sense of pen and a campaign you know it's funny um, Alistair because I feel like we've been missing Mario Paint on the Switch and um, this is it, it's kind of cool I kind of like this idea yeah I, not for I me. Loved- <laughs> well, yes, I'm kind of in the same boat. So I loved Mario Paint back in the day. Was it the SNES era, I think that was? It was amazing. I had so much fun with that as a kid with tons yeah. of time on my hands. When I first saw this, I went, why? And then I heard that it did really, really well on the 3DS, and I went, why? And then I looked at it a bit more and thought, actually, I can kind of see a very, very, very niche use for it. So if someone happens to have a Switch with them, and they happen to be carrying around the pen with them, and they want to do some sketching... They can do it. And I guess it's really hard to do that with anything other than sort of a tablet, like an mm-hmm. Apple, an iPad or something like that with a stylus. That, yeah, you could do that, but that means you're going to go buy a thousand pound piece of kit. Whereas if you're kind of going to switch anyway, and it's got a capable piece of drawing software on it, as long as you can find some way of exporting the drawings from it into some other sort of suitable medium, it might actually have an audience. It's just not me because I don't go around drawing things. Anton, what do you reckon? Um- as the the resident sketcher, uh, you know, I, I love the idea of it. And, you know, the 3DS game and the PS Vita games, those were fairly impressive suites. Uh, and I think the fact that they've got this pressure sensitive pen uh, to kind of describe mm. it, it plugs in via the headphone jack. And then it kind of has like this little wee rotating tip at the end that's flush, but kind of can articulate in certain angles so it knows what angles you're tilting at it so you can shade like a pencil. I was really impressed by that. But I, I I struggle to see who's maybe, you know, I think on the 3DS where maybe you don't own a graphics tablet because a graphics tablet is £300 and iPads, like, it was only, I think you could only sketch on the pros, but, like, entry-level iPads are, like, 300 about the price of a Switch. So I, I'm curious to see what kind of... I, I think there's a margin there for people who want to sketch digitally, but I don't hmm. know how big that margin is. I, I think it's really... I mean, that, the the pen idea is f- oh, amazing. Brilliant. I think it's absolutely stunning. And it comes in different colours. And look, you know, there is a market for it because it aimed to make £12,000 on Kickstarter and it's at 43100 It's got nearly a 1,000 backers and it's still got 25 days to go. So there is, there's definitely an audience for it. And um, I think it's just great. I, re- I really, really like this because it combines... You know, I've I, you read so many negative things about gaming and and you know consoles and all uh, and and you know everything that goes with that. Um, and I think this is just a really positive, nice game. And the fact that they've got backers there already, they've, they've tested it with Kickstarter. Mm-hmm. You know, I think that's really clever. And um, you know, we know that they were good. They were really well reviewed, as Al said, on um, you know the 3DS and the DS before that as well. I think it was on as well, but uh, no, it was just the 3DS, but it was, it was really well reviewed on there and on the Vita as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm all for it. I think it's a really cool idea. One thing I would say, I find the, the campaign I do think is really cool. Like uh, I think we're, we're all kind of similar in the fact that the pen is like, it's kind of weird that that's not even been something that's been considered before, but the, <laughs> the campaign, like I know like, Sometimes you're just in a mood where you're like, eh, I don't know what to draw. You're not feeling creative, but you're just wanting to kind of do something mindless, which I imagine this campaign must be fantastic for that. Just kind of yeah. let we doodling. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Well, let's hope it uh, continues to succeed like it has been. Next up, I made it sound like it was a has been there. <laughs> just because I said like it has been. It's not a has been game. <laughs> 